viewers, welcome to Think Twice videos, please subscribe to our channel now. Remember to hit the bell button to be notified each time we publish our videos. Like and comment to our videos too. Thank you. Hello viewers, nice to see you again. We promise to present our best to you. Today we're going to prove to you the biblical facts that the earth is static. The biblical proves that the sun is moving and hovering round the surface of the earth. Contrary to science and NASA proofs, we have been able to carry out a concrete research about the state of our earth and we are 100% sure of our results. We want everyone all over the world to know that science has been deceiving us, NASA has not been very sincere with us. We ask NASA to come to an open debate with us or to show us a visual proof of the Earth's movement. Up till now, we have not gotten the proof from NASA. So you can see NASA isn't very sincere with their results after spending billions of dollars to go to the space to carry our experiments. First, I will want you to understand what the Bible is. The Bible is a holy book which carries both ancient present and future stories that commands authority, it contains factual stories right from the beginning of the world we are living in. The Bible best explains how the earth was was created. In the book of Genesis, the Bible entails in details the creation of everything on earth after God created the heavens and the earth. So, you cannot forecast, predict or prove the true nature stature and status of the earth without considering some biblical factors. The Bible is not a book to debunk just like that. It's not a book to doubt, because what so that's is written in a many years ago is already manifesting itself, so when I tell you some biblical facts about the static nature of the earth, I want you to join this movement till NASA correct their mistakes and apologize to us all for misleading us all these while. The book of Joshua in the Holy Bible tells us about the true status of the earth. I'm gonna reading the book of Joshua from chapter 1 till chapter 13, please watch and listen carefully to the historical facts and tales here about the movement of the sun and the moon. King Adonai Zedek of Jerusalem A heard that Joshua had captured and destroyed the town of Ai, and then killed its king as he had done at Jericho. He also learned that the Gibeonites had signed a peace treaty with Israel. To this frightened dad and Isidek and his people. They knew that Gibeon was a large town, as big as the towns that had kings, and even bigger than the town of Ai had been. And all of the men of Gibeon were warriors. 3 So Adonai Zedek sent messages to the kings of four other towns, King Hahim of Hebron, King Byram of Jarmuth, King Japhia of Lachish, and King Deborah of Eglin. The messages said, For the Gibeonites have signed a peace treaty with Joshua and the Israelites. Come and help me attack Gibeon. 5 When these five Amorite kings called their armies together and attacked Gibeon, 6 The Gibeonites sent a message to the Israelite camp at Gilgal, Joshua, please come and rescue us. The Amorite kings from the hill country have joined together and are attacking us. We are your servants, so don't let us down. Please hurry. 7 Joshua and his army, including his best warriors, left Gilgal. 8 Joshua, the Lord said, don't be afraid of the Amorites. They will run away when you attack, and I will help you defeat them. 9 Joshua marched all night from Gilgal to Gibeon and made a surprise attack on the Amorite camp. 10 The Lord made the enemy panic, and the Israelites started killing them right and left. They b chased the Amorite troops up the road to Beth Horon and kept on killing them, until they reached the towns of Azka and Makeda. C. 11 And while these troops were going down through Beth Horon Pass, d. The Lord made huge hailstones fall on them all the way to Uzka. More of the enemy soldiers died from the hail than from the Israelite weapons. 12-13 The Lord was helping the Israelites defeat the Amrites that day. So about noon, Joshua prayed to the Lord loud enough for the Israelites to hear. Our Lord, make the sun stop. In the sky over Gibeon. And the moon stands still over Ajalon Valley. E. So the sun and the moon. 
stopped and stood still. Until Israel defeated its enemies. You can see in verse 13 that Joshua, who is among the first mysterious men in the Holy Bible commanded the sun and the moon to stand still, and God hearkened to his command and the sun and the moon stood still. This a clear indication that the sun is rotating not the earth, it simply shows that the moon is rotating not the earth. If it was the earth that is rotating, Joshua would have asked the earth to stop and stand still. NASA should explain to us why they lied to us. Join the debate. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe now.